everybody! Well, it's that time of the month again, and I'm going to be shooting my November favorites today. And weird thing, I just noticed I got my lipstick all over my cup, which is kind of weird because I just did it get ready with me. Anyway, in this awesome Starbucks cup is one of my favorite things this month. Well, the cup is my favorite thing. Is that not cute? My husband always says, oh my god, you have an adult sippy cup because I spill constantly. I am like the clumsiest person and I spill and I will admit it, right? I mean, yeah, I'm weird. I'm crazy. Um, I like the decaf Earl Grey tea by Tetley and um, with agave syrup and uh, just milk and it's super yummy and warm. It's actually snowing out today so this is really good and warm so I'm just gonna keep making my lip marks on it. Alright so let's dig in and I will start with some of my favorites. Okay there's a lot here. I'm gonna start with perfume because I mean I'm gonna be different. One of my favorites, one of my all-time favorite perfumes is this one. I'm absolutely in love with it. I'm trying to kind of not wear it as much for the winter just because it is more of a summery scent, but I mean, I love it. And there's no rules, right? There's no like perfume police that are gonna come and arrest me if I wear it, at least I hope not. It is the Fresh Life Perfume. I'm gonna see if I can zoom in on that. This stuff just smells so good. Oh my gosh. This is like unicorn puppy tears in a bottle. I'm in love with it. Yes, in love with it. So this is my first favorite. Another favorite that I have for perfume is this little sample that I got from Sephora for um, 250 points. And um, it is the Tory Burch perfume. And I mean, this sample is going to last me forever, probably. So... And it's one of those more adult scents, um, you know, that you kind of want to wear when you get really dressed up and go out summer really nice. Not that I do that often because I don't. Um, I honestly don't. But I think that it's one of those scents where it's like if you're going to a wedding or a Christmas party or something, you kind of want to want to wear because it's just one of those ones that make you feel um, very elegant. I think that's the best way to put it. So I'm really liking this perfume. Um, and that is nice and it's in a cute bottle so that makes it even better all right another thing I'm gonna go with nails next is this um, Sephora formulation formula X base coat this stuff is so good I actually want to go to Sephora and get some backups of it because this is the best base coat I've used I use this and um, I used really dark nail polish and it actually got it didn't stain my nails. I don't have any on right now, but um, I use Linkin Park After Dark. I use this. I usually put two base coats on. Don't ask me why. It's probably not the right thing to do, but I like it because my nails, my cuticles get so dry that when I take polishes off, they go and they stay. So I like to have that extra base coat just in case. So this I am loving. Definitely going to be a staple in my collection of nail things. Not that I need any more, but yes, I love it. If you're looking for an amazing base coat, go to Sephora and get it. It's their brand, so yeah, just check it out. Check it out. Um, another thing for my nails, and I've said this in other videos, is the Bare Naked Nail Wipes by Josie Marion. Moran. I'm sorry if I butcher names. I'm going to butcher names because that's just what I do too. It's another fault of mine. With spilling and stuff, I butcher names. Sorry, but um, this one I got from Hot Look, and it's the, I like the smell. I have this weird obsession with smelling things, I'm sorry. Um, it's a three-in-one polish remover, cuticle, and nail treatment, and this is in peppermint, and I am in love with these. I actually just bought a bigger one of the grapefruit from Sephora, and it's, um, yeah, I haven't started using that one yet because it's Christmas and I want to use peppermint. But what I'll do is I'll take the Sephora nail wipes um, and I'll take off my polish. And then I will go in with these. And you only need one of these because these things are like heavy, heavy duty. And they don't look like it, but they are. And I'll just sit there and I'll just 
go into my cuticles and just push them in and stuff and it just it kind of moisturizes them and gets them clean and takes all that extra polish off where you don't have to worry about having polish everywhere on your fingers and that so it's definitely a step that I've now incorporated into my nail um, routine I whenever I'm not wearing nail polish I always go in with um, the base coat and I'll go in with a top coat one of my top coats that I love using is this Avon nail experts gold strength fortifier and I'll use this one when I'm not using any nail polish because it just it's something on my nails to protect them um, and then I'll go in and take these just to wipe that off and then do my nails the color I want so I've definitely incorporated these into my nail regime um, now so I'll probably use these about three three to four times a week um, even just to kind of moisturize my cuticles so these are amazing if you're looking for something good to moisturize your cuticles um, these are really good so I would definitely take a little peekaboo at those um, for lip products, I've only been really using one. Today, I decided to use this new one that I got from ColourPop. And the one I'm wearing from ColourPop is the liner and the, um, the liner and the, uh, lippy stick in Frida. And, um, I bought this one. It's just a nice natural color and, um, it's a satin, so it goes on nice. That's, I only used that today, so, but this is my very favorite go-to lip gloss, and it is Marc Jacobs in Kissabilly, 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 whatever, um, and I'm absolutely in love with it. It is just such a nice gloss just to wear every day, like, you don't even need anything else. Even if all you're wearing is a gloss and mascara, you're going to look done up, because the gloss gives kind of a little glisten and the mascara gives your eyes a little pop so if you're running out the door quick and you don't have time to do anything else take your mascara and your gloss and you're good to go so this is definitely a favorite this will always be a favorite of mine I love it um, another favorite is my Tarte eyelash curler I picked this up and it's just the cutest little thing ever. I'm not a big eyelash curler person, but since I picked this up, I've used it every day. So it's kind of inspired me to, to kind of curl my eyelashes. So that's a favorite. Um, also, the favorite of the month for mascara has been the Tarte Gifted. I have like my hair falling out everywhere. Um, the Tarte Gifted Amazonian Clay Smart Mascara. And this is a sample size. I prefer sample sizes because mascara runs out like you have to get rid of it so quickly so I like sample sizes so I can try different kinds and I'm not worried about bacteria or anything so yeah, this is what the brush looks like I'm getting down to the wire where I have to like get rid of it because I'm like using the bejeebies out of it but it's just a really nice classic wand I'm I really like it I mean I'm loving the Amazonian clay products that's weird, I threw it and it landed in the bowl. Um, I've tried a couple of new concealers this month. One of my favorites is the Maybelline Fit Me, and I'm in 15 Fair. And it's just such a nice formula. It's got a doe foot applicator. I'm just gonna swatch it for you. And it just brightens everything up. So I'm definitely digging this concealer this month. Definitely digging it. Let's get away so I can get some of these things off. Um, another concealer that I'm liking is the MAC Studio Finish, and I'm in NW15, and I'm, I picked this one specifically because it's a salmon-y color, and I usually pull cool tones, but I wanted salmon under my eyes, because I have very blue under eyes, um, it's not, I've already said this before, it's not for lack of sleep or anything. It's just because my eyes are naturally blue under there because I'm very fair skinned in that. So um, I picked the salmon color to cancel out the blue and the dark. So I'm definitely loving the MAC Studio Finish Concealer. I did hear about this from another YouTuber, Makeup by Tiffany D, pretty sure. And um, yeah. So definitely I'm happy with my MAC products that I've bought this month. Um, 
Another product that I'm loving for eyes, well for eyes, is um, my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. And this is it here. And I use this as a, um, I don't even know if you can see it because it's such a nice skin color. There it is. Um, I use this as a primer on my eyes. And um, it just makes your eyes, like your, your, ma your makeup on your eyes. I was going to say your mascara, but... I'm not having a good morning, okay, with words. Um, it makes your eyeshadows and stuff just stay so amazing. It makes the color more vivid. Um, it doesn't crease or anything, so I'm liking that. Another one that I like is this. I've never used these before this month. And it's the Color Tattoo 24 Hour Metal by Maybelline. And this one is in Inked in Pink. And it's so simple. Like, I usually just put my MAC paint pot on and then I'll just go over this and then I'm done. This one is such a beautiful pink. Kind of gives off a little bit of a shimmer, but it kind of just, you know, looks natural. So I like that one. And it's something where it's just quick and easy to put on. And those are the things I like some days where it's just like, boom, done. You know, we don't need to get all dolled up every day. Another amazing product that I got, I have like wiping my hands all over them so it's getting them all like crazy fingerprinted, is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush Palette. I picked this up in the Sephora sale, VIB sale, and I've been loving this color right here. Don't ask me why I'm liking this like brown color. But I've been using it to kind of contour a bit, and um, I don't know, I kind of like it. Maybe people think it looks really weird on me, but I'm digging it. So definitely, I like this one, definitely awesome. I'm in love with the Hourglass Cosmetics as well. Like That's one of my favorite go-to um, makeup brands is Hourglass. So um, yeah, another one that I like is from Hourglass as well, and it's the Ethereal Light. One, and this is just like a translucent color. Barely see it. And I use it to set under my eyes. Let me see if I can get it. I use it to set underneath my eyes to brighten it up, to highlight, and that. But I really like this one. And I mean, I'm I like the Hourglass Cosmetics, and um, I have their Ambient Lighting Three palette as well. I have some of their lip stuff and that. They are pretty pricey, but the way I find that they're worth it for me, but um, yeah, if you're going to look for them, you might get scared away by the price, but you do get a lot in it. Like this is a big, a big, big, like, big amount. All right, I lost my words there, sorry. Um, another palette that I've been really liking is this um, Country Nashville by Too Faced. You can only get it at Ulta. And these colors are so beautiful. Like, just amazing. I'll just swatch some of them here for you. Like, they're just so pigmented, so beautiful. I love it. Um, you can only get this one at Ulta. And um, I got my mom to pick it up for me when she went down there. And it's just a a great classic beautiful colors for every day just something you can stick in your purse and go or stick in your bag and go and you don't need anything else because it's got your night colors it's got your day colors it's got your highlights you can even use these to highlight under your eyes um, to brighten it up because it's light there's shimmers there's matte it's just it's gorgeous I love it um, Another product, and it's for skin, is the Oil-Free Anti-Stress Power Foam Treats Acne Even Before It Emerges Neutrogena Wash. I have I have really red, red skin. I suffer from rosacea and eczema. I've been trying to um, find something that's going to help it because um, I find that it gets really bad in the winter with this winter weather. So there's a couple of products that I tried on um, the Neutrogena Cleanser Acne Wash for Redness Soothing. And I love that one. Love, love, love that one. That one actually has combated my redness. But this one as well has helped a lot. And it's just a foam. So it foams out like this. And it's got point 
5% salicylic acid in it and it just feels so great on the skin. Then when you wash it off, it's like silk. It's just, it's great. I'm, I'm really liking that one. I'm actually like, I lean towards that one more than I do the cleanser just because it's not as rough, um, if that makes sense. But this is a great product. Even if you have red skin in that, it's not going to dry your skin out. The cleanser has point or has 2% salicylic acid in it. And this one only has 0.5. So there is a difference. But um, I don't use it to combat acne. I use it for my redness and that. And it's, it's helped a lot. Really love the way it feels. So that is a love. Um, I just got this today in my mail from Sephora. It's not even open. But um, I did have a sample of it and I ended up ordering the full size one. That's why this one's new. So I obviously loved it. And it is the Grapefruit and Aloe Body Butter from Bliss. And I didn't really use Bliss body butters before. I was kind of just like the body shop or I used myself from um, Burt's Bees and stuff. And I'm like, I don't know if I need another one. And then I got a sample in the little Sephora red bag. And I was like, okay, well, I'm going to check it out and see what it's like. And I used it. And as soon as I put it on my hands, I fell in love. I was just like, oh, I love it. This is like my new favorite. Oh, I can't wait to use it again. I love it. I love the smell of it. It's just, it's beautiful. So if you're looking for a great body butter, this one's amazing. They have different um, scents as well. So, but this one I'm just, I fell in love with as soon as I used it. I fall in love with the, like a lot of things, which is terrible, right? So I went to the body shop as well to kind of look around um, and that. And then when I was in there, they had 40% off. And then I don't have a body shop card. So they're like, if you sign up, you get your body shop card like super, super cheap because I bought stuff. And then they're like, you get two free gifts. And I'm like, well then, I might as well get some stuff. So I ended up getting this mango lip gloss as a free gift. And it just smells so pretty. Pretty. It smells so pretty. That's a new word. Um, it's like there's no, it's just a gloss. Obviously, you're not going to see it. It's just a gloss. But it just smells like so nice. And um, I use it before I go to bed. And I also use it during the day. But it's just one of those lip glosses that you're like, oh, it's there. I'm going to use it. And the smell just, the smell makes you feel so good. It just makes you feel like mango-y and good. Oh my gosh, just my window. And I noticed that my neighbors are like doing their roof. And it's like snowing. It's kind of weird. People are crazy. People are strange. Quoting the doors there. All right. Another favorite. And this girl there kind of like, I was kind of like, I don't know if I want to get this. And then I smelled it and I was like, I don't know how I can not get this. Like my mind changed. And I actually ended up getting one for someone else as well. So... It's a glazed apple bath jelly and it comes in a thing like this. So it's really pretty and um, it's really thick. Right? So it looks like jelly. Oh my god, it's just like I literally want to just. Have you ever had something you want to smell and you just want to smell it all day? Like you, you just want to like live in this bottle and smell it all day. That's what I would love to do. Um, you take this little spoon thing and you scoop it out and it's like super thick like like I could put my finger in there and not take any out right like it's like thick but this stuff is so great and I put it in my bath um, I run it under hot water just a couple of these little spoonfuls I run under hot water and it bubbles up the bath and it makes it smell so pretty and then I put Epsom salts in my bath and in the winter time it just it makes my muscles feel great. I'm actually going to be doing a video on um, muscle relaxation and back pain because I suffer from chronic pain. I was in a car accident six years ago, so and I have um, a back issue because of it. And there's a lot of things that I have done that have really helped me with my pain. And they're kind of more on the natural side and more of the like 
self-soothing side so um, I'm gonna be doing a video about that so if you're interested in that video please watch my channel because I'm going to be putting it up probably within the next couple weeks um, and that and uh, yeah but that's what I do like I'll put Epsom salts in it and I'll just put this in it and I'll just lay in the bath and it just relaxes me like to no end it is it's really good the other product and I think this is my last one so the craziness is almost over is the actual body butter that goes with that and um, it's just so nice it's like it's great I use this before I go to bed I kind of switch between the grapefruit and this one depending if I want like tons and tons and tons of moisture or just a little bit um, but this stuff is the glazed apple as well um, and it just smells amazing so sometimes I'll do the bath and then I'll do this um, and I'll just feel like so relaxed and just so like you know like I can just melt in my bed and go to sleep so yeah um, this is definitely a favorite of mine I don't know I kind of like the smell I hope they never get rid of it but it's only for here for the holidays so I might have to stock up I hate, that. I hate it when they have things only for the holidays and then you fall in love with them and then it's like gone or if they have something and you fall in love with it and then it's gone it always happens like ketchup Doritos and don't say I'm crazy because ketchup Doritos did happen and then they're gone or like something else and it's gone and it just sucks like wink why can't they bring wink back like that pop was good and it's gone I don't get it you like it and then they get rid of it and I think it's all a marketing thing but we play into it right anyway so that is my favorites for the month of November sorry for the ranting and craziness in this video but you know what oh well this is a fun time right so yeah these are my favorites. Leave me a comment below. I want to know what your favorites are in that because I'm always looking for new and exciting things to try for, you know, my own pleasure. I don't know. I'm one of those people that just like, oh my gosh, this person has it. I have to have it. I have to have it. Or if there's like a Sephora sale, you know how they say like you're like, I'm going in for one thing and you're like, I need that so bad or else I'm not going to live. I end up walking out with 10 things and it's like $500 later and I'm like, no wonder why I'm a VIB Rouge. Like, honestly, I could probably be a VIB Rouge for the next 10 years on just this year's purchases. Oh, this is crazy. So that's part of my craziness as well. But hey, we're not going to go there. Anyway, done with my rant and I hope you guys have a wonderful week and um, I'll see you soon. Bye guys.